Hello everyone, Zena Zim here, and welcome more. Welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Core. Last time, we got Sunry and not Gilly Vuru. This time, we've got some duties to do for the Republic Embassy. Sonic Grenade. Take transport to the Sith base. Really? Now we're in the sit base. Let's look about. Look lively. Because there is a chance one of them has. Yeah, the war analysis. Okay. Warning activating flow control me. Okay, so that is currently malfunctioning. Okay. Pressure adjusting. Please. Warning. Alright, now I remember. We'll wait to... Nope, want to open this. Open this. And then, with this, proceed. Oh, 
Uh, wasn't expecting that. Now with the door. We opened. And now we get fight some dark Jedi. <laughs> Security. Bio antidote package. Energy, strength, and I'm flutter. Give that to Julie. Also, give that. Now, let's move. The other side. Droid's targeting program. Disable force field. I mean, okay, so it's rejected, so we can't just do that. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Steam control room. Deactivate steam, steam vents. To override menu, view to assembly area, corrupt the central children's program, target programming. Area schematic, overload power condo, I ain't well. They're dead. What? There's the food locker, and we can hear the fighting. 
believe it's just the two attacking each other. HK47. Cell Cuff Apprentice. But they're not our ally. Our first time fighting a Cell Cuff. Ah! They're not too threatening. Which is a scary thing. Is that they're not threatening. Now, if we're going here. Let's do yourself of holding some sort of token. Save, especially if you're going for a light playthrough. Yeah. Oh, wait, before we, before we do anything, let's open the chest, get some med packs. Uh, the med packs are basically just storing up to be sold. But now, we open this. <laughs> Is how you win an argument? I would have thought it easier to prove the evil of the dark side than that. <laughs> to save them. However, couldn't save them all. Now let's open these last two doors. 
How did you get in here? Wait. I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever does. Well, let me guess. You intend to collect this. See? What did I tell you? As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall remove this thorn from Malak's side once and for all. <laughs> Chanting dueling shields. Advanced med packs. Fuck one of these. Explode. The data pad. This would be helpful. And technically, technically, we can leave, but we should find the droid the Republic is looking for. Heal. If we go in here, which is where the droid is. Really? We had to go hit by a concussion grenade. Take 
Security interface decryption. Adrenaline. Data module, which will help us with the personal quest. With the. not with the personal quest. With the quest to save the world. Okay. over and over because it's so effective. Yes. I'm here. Okay, no, these droids don't drop anything. Sad because honestly. <laughs> And if we go through this door, we find nothing. Yeah, there's literally nothing at the end of this. I don't know why that's there. I've got a theory that we were meant to go there at some point. Either that. Or the codes get us there. There, it is a sneaky way of getting out. You there, I don't recognize you. You, I don't recognize you. I, Commander Gran. We can't force persuade her. There's a few people we can't force persuade. You authorize this person to enter. I don't know them. And their identification. What? Sound the. <laughs> 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 So they have enchanted stuff, which, which is interesting. Sealed door. The door is permanently sealed, which is annoying. You'd think it wouldn't be, unless the alarm actually does that, which that sucks. But we don't need to worry. We got what we needed. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Weapon choice with. Try and talk your way, uh, way out of this, but it is really hard. Now let's return to the Rebel Embassy. There's still stuff we can do. Ah. Uh. What? Really, you two? Really? Show him. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith? This year is. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. This is actually slightly incorrect. At the, this point in time, it's the only known source of Kolto. Eventually more sources come up because it eventually but eventually becomes obsolete thanks to Bacta. The Selkath Conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath 
see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there will be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. We don't know. We just don't know. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. All right, let's go. Use the submersible. And then we get a warp pool. before we do anything because there is actually some interesting items <laughs> I believe there is spirit locker I thought there was more but oh well uh, that's a repair kit not really what I was oh there's this other one that's okay how how did you get in did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but... But the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks. The Feroxa out there, and... Worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the cell calf. Like us. Let's get you back to the surface. Back to the surface, yes. No! There's something out there. It got the other submersible already. We can't leave until you do something. 
Blow up the entire station, maybe. That might distract whatever it is long enough for us to escape to the surface. But all the machinery and stuff is in the southern half, and that, that's been flooded. There might still be environmental suits around, but... but oh, the cell calf might have laid their eggs in them. No! I locked the door so the cell calf won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! Tough. When you if open. you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead! If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. I could have taken you up, mate. A lot for Axa. Security panel. Slice the computer. The vent gas into the room. Zero. The vent gas into the room. Stuff hallway. Oh my god. View secure room. Dead with shield. Stop the fight that. Clearly. Corrupt the droids starting computers. Corrupt the computer computers. Download to come out. What you need? I'm here. Sorry about that. Had someone at the door? Oh, 
the runes of cast. And now we finally get to center droid. You shouldn't have your shield. Now you get it. I still got it. Now we'll go the long way, because that room is near. Damn it! Poison! Plasma grenade. This room. Not what I was thinking it was. Nice is these bombs. I believe it's this room. Yeah, it's this room where the cells have more gas as well. Otherwise, we have to fight our way through to these chests. These foot lockers. this one. I did not mean to open that. We get an environmental suit. We can check that locker. That soldier, and then the whimpering locker. Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy! <laughs> Come and eat me too! <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. I must pretend that's right. I've been sent by the Republic to investigate what's happened here. Investigate. 
You're just like the others. Order for the Selkath. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. And the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody. I lock myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, 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 no. That's what the others said. Mercenaries like you. But they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the Kulto is, few fishes there, but many, many, many fishes in between the water. No, no, only... Yeah. Bye-bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. Yeah, no matter what you do, you can't get that guy out. It's annoying. Hey. The part members are beginning airlock some reasons. And oh, this log. The sequel fix this by only having it in only one area, but also having it. Not be the slow. Who's there? You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkath killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The Selkath swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. Do it here. I'll go check it out. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place i'm heading out to the ocean floor right now it leads to another complex of buildings going through them is the only way to reach the colto harvester we should probably stick together but i won't wait around in here with the cell calf. you can catch up with me if you want down the hall and through the doors on the right i'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe you can technically outspeed this guy i've done it once but God. Come on! What's taking you so long? We have to cross the ocean side. Come on! Come on! What's... Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there, we have to keep moving. The water is filled with... Get out! It's filled with Feroxa. Sharks. Engage the enemy. Yeah, combat's not fun. This thing. Compared to what you think.
Yeah, I don't really have anything to, to talk about with this, because it's just so slow and boring. Now be careful when going into this room. We want to try and sneak over here. Over here, fight the remaining cell calf. Grenade, Granada. Never come up to this. No, no, y you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out, stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them, kill them now. What? What do you want? Go away. You'll let the Farax. No, I'm Beth Materazzi. I'm here to help you, but first you have to stop the deep processes. No. For rack. I'm a friend. You won't let me in. You won't stop the deep processes. Yes. You're a friend. You'll protect us. You won't let the Faraxa eat us. You'll keep the cell cath away. I'll unlock the door, but you have to come in quickly. I... I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The Frax and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew... Our cell cath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the cell cath outside the doors every once in a while and those strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Have you seen a star map? A star map? I don't know anything about a star map down here. But there were some ruins that were excavated when we were digging the foundations for the last section of the Kulto harvesting machine. But we can't go anywhere near those now. Maybe... 
Maybe that's why it all happened in the first place. What happened? We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxis shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Silkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. Turned on you? It was like they couldn't control themselves. Like the sound that the monster was making in our heads drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kulto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things too. Like what? Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kulto. Would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. But with Kulto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. What can we do about it? The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. What are you talking about? The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firaxan and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. What else could I do? You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. What other choice do I have though? Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. How would I do that? You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel, so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. I'll just try to try the harvest Good. machine. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the culto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the culto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. And we'll find out what that right choice is next time. Yeah, I know this is a bit weird place to put it, but being real, we I need to test something out. And the only way to test that out is through doing it before recording. So, next time. We may not actually do what they ask. We'll have to do might do that later.
But if things go as planned, we may end up doing that, or may not. This is Ino Inazuma, signing out.